We ended the last session with the definition of group action. A group action of a group G on a set A. Not that there is no restriction here. Any set A. It need not have anything to do with group G itself. So, group action is a map from G cross A to A. Written as G dot A, satisfying the following properties. G1 dot G2 dot A is equal to G1 G2 dot A. When we say G1 G2, we mean the group operation between two elements of G here. Second condition is very natural. For the identity of the group 1, 1 dot A is equal to A for all A belongs to A. We told that instead of G dot A, we will write, simply write it as G A. I hope you are all set for some action now. Let's look at some interesting examples. The first one we quickly looked at last day is G A is equal to A. Is it a group action? Turns out it is. To begin with, let's check the first condition. G1 dot G2 dot A. Oh, wait. The real first condition to check is if the map is from G cross A to A. Turns out it is. G A is nothing but G dot A. Or in other words, G dot of G comma A. Now, this tuple G comma A belongs to G cross A. Therefore, the domain is correct. And in fact, all A belongs to A. Therefore, the codomain is also correct. Now, let's go to the numbered first condition. G1 dot G2 dot A is equal to G2 dot A is equal to G1 dot A because we have defined G A is equal to A and G2 belongs to G. In fact, this is also equal to A. If you consider G1 G2 dot A since G is a group, G1 G2 belongs to G, therefore G1 G2 dot A will be equal to A again. Clearly, the first condition is satisfied. What about the second condition? We define that G A is equal to A for every A belongs to A. Therefore, one belongs to G and A belongs to A. Second condition is also easily satisfied. Interesting. This is called the trivial action. Now, with an example at hand, let's look at an interesting question. What about this particular set G such that G A is equal to A for all A belongs to A. For this example, G A is equal to A for all G belongs to G and for all A belongs to A. Therefore, this set will be nothing but the entire set G itself. Is that so for all the group actions? Here's another one. Take the group S3, symmetric group of degree 3, and the set A, X1, X2, and X3. Define the group of group action as sigma Xi, where sigma belongs to, sigma is a permutation in S3. Sigma Xi is equal to X sigma of i. Would you like to try to prove that this is in fact a group action? But for our second example, with some experiments, you will find out that G such that G A is equal to A will be equal to just one point set one that is containing the group identity alone. Curious. This should be something important when it comes to the group actions, right? In fact, it is. G such that G A is equal to A is called the kernel of the group action. Further, if the kernel of the group action is one point set which contains identity, we call that group action. Any guesses, my faithful friends? Faithful! If kernel is 1.71 or the identity of G, then the group action is called faithful. Well, that's a lot of information for 5 minutes, I suppose. I'll save some for our class later. Thank you.